Hey everybody, it's Code Actual, and in this video we're going to be showing you how to set up your slobs, uh, also known as Streamlabs OBS. In the previous video, I talked about a basic introduction. In this video, I'm going to show you how to network things correctly based on your internet speed for your best performance for your viewers and make sure you're not going to be lagging in game if you're playing a multiplayer game. Um, and just great resolutions and you know just configuring of how to set up a Streamlabs OBS. So when you first install it, this is the first thing that pops up. Um, if you hit the setup later, um, what you can do is hit the cog button here and on general it will show run the auto optimizer. Now I strongly recommend you do this because it will optimize everything here for you without, you know, then you can just skip this tutorial basically. So it's going to be detecting your location, your bandwidth, um, and whatnot. So let's let this run through and if everything looks fine awesome if it doesn't I'm still gonna be showing you how to set up things manually so you can still hit that better performance if this uh, optimizing or test does not follow through now if you guys can do me one big favor is to subscribe towards the channel hit that red button uh, give the video a like share this on all of your social media let another streamer know or potential streamer know about how to do all this stuff and whatnot and uh, yeah, I, I also live stream myself on this particular channel, which is Codexual. If you guys want to watch my highlights, which will be Codexual Games. So just this main channel is just for uh, tutorials and whatnot. So we're just waiting for the bandwidth to complete its test here. So Okay, so after it's done performing and running its test and whatnot, it will automatically pre-configure everything here for you and it'll end up looking like this. So we're gonna worry about setting up scenes and sources here in a bit. So what we wanna do is make sure everything is up to par. So if it's not, what we need to worry about is what is our upload speed and um, and whatnot. So if you go to speedtest.net and run a speed test, you'll find out what your download is and what your upload speed. So the greater the number for your upload speed, the better. So let me, I wrote down a little um, note here. So I have 40 fun, 40 fun, 41 megabytes to um, spare. Basically, if you have one or two megabytes to spare, then leave one megabyte. So, okay, basically what I'm getting at with this is, Let's just say, for example, you have six megabytes for the upload speed and you cut that in half. So if you cut that in half, then that's actually how much you have to spare. And the other half is for your multiplayer gameplay. Because if you only have one megabyte upload um, or even two megabyte upload, you're going to have a bad time because it's going to be a bad quality. It's going to be at 360, 40 through 40, 480. Um, FPS, excuse me, FPS resolution 360 or 480p. So that's going to be your resolution, and that's what the viewers are going to see. And if you play on a multiplayer while you're also streaming, you're going to lag. So play a single player game only, then uh, just use up all of your um, upload speed. So I'm going to show you how to do a calculate, how to how to calculate how to do all this. So if you have a 2.5 or even 4 megabytes, then you know it gives you more a little bit of a leverage. So you always want to cut this number in half. So if you have six, then cut that in half to three, and that's actually how much you have to spare for when you live stream. So then, then you'll be good. So how do we cut that in half? Basically, we need to go towards our output, and we need to go to the video bitrate. This is the upload. So if you see the one point, if you have one megabyte upload, that's going to be one thousand. If you have two megabyte upload, then it's going to be 2,000. And if you have 2.5, that's going to be 2,500. Again, you want to cut that in half. So if you want to use all of your upload speed, feel free to do so. Um, especially if you have six, just use three. It'll be streaming at 1080p. You'll be fine, and you'll be able to play a multiplayer game. This, you you might have some leverage to play a multiplayer game, but um, if you have four, then just cut that in half to two. Uh, and put 2,000 in, then you'll be fine. So, next thing is, especially on the computer, choose the encoder. Um, if you have a graphics card, and you for sure you don't have a graphics card, and it's an NVIDIA, hit N V E N C. 
then it'll start rendering from your graphics card. I promise you, you'll if if you choose um, software X264, uh, that's rendering from your CPU. This right here will only stream or will only render from your GPU. So if you have a GPU or a graphics card, use that. So again, only NVIDIA will pop up. If you have like a Radeon or a AMD or AMD, um, if you have like a Radeon, it won't pop up. So I'm just letting you know about that. As for the audio bit rate, um, I like to change my to 182. So it's some type of DVD quality and you'll be, you'll be good. And uh, now we don't have to worry about that. So what if you, let's go ahead and click done. What if you are just recording locally, which you can record right here and you can you know, record your desktop and click the plus button, go to screen capture. Then this is going to be your desktop and monitor mon one. So monitor one and um, right here. So this is my main monitor and I, this is how I'm recording right now. So you can have that. You can change it to a different monitor. Um, but I'm just letting you know, um, we'll worry about changing it to different monitors. I'll go through that in another video. So what if we were just recording locally? Well, let's go ahead and go back and you don't have to worry about the upload speed, but what you need to worry about is, um, the base resolution. So yours can be the 1920 by 1080, but it was defaultly on the 1280 by 720. So that's 720 is going to be the resolution. So if your computer can handle it, and you have a great specs, then choose 1920 by 1080. So it'll start recording at 1080. And this is where you can choose um, 30 FPS or even 60. Mine's at 60 because my computer can handle that. So, also when you're streaming, right, this is what will happen. It will show that you're in, it will stream in 1080. So, if you're still having problems, change that to 1280 by 720. And make sure that your upload speed, you know, you know what your upload speed is. So uh, that's how you can stream it at um, 720. If you still have any problems, then downscale it just a tad bit until something perfect, um, until the stream is not pixelated for you. Um, so there's that. Now, as for the stream, you can stream on, you know, Twitch, uh, YouTube, Streamcast, or Smashcast. Mixer, Daily Motion, Facebook Live, Restream, and Periscope, Twitter, etc., etc., etc. So, here's where I'm going to stop, and I'm going to create different segments um, in a different video. I'm going to show you how to stream on Twitch, how to stream on Mixer, how to stream on Facebook, and if you want to stream on all these platforms at the same time. I strongly recommend using Restream.io. Then you can stream on Mixer, Smashcast, uh, Facebook, everything all at once. Just using your single connection instead of using multiple connection, the multiple threads, multiple rendering, which is not good for your computer. So um, I do have Restream tutorial, and uh, I will post a link towards that video down below so you're able to stream on all these platforms all at the same time. If you just want to stream on one platform, that's completely fine. I'll still show you how to do that in the next video. Then in the next video after that, you know, I'll show you how to set up the scenes, the sources and whatnot. So um, I hope that this video was helpful in a way. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And if you all can, you know, do me a favor is subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Till the very end, yeah. Every day I'm feeling great, better than the day before. And you can see it on my face, smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake. As long as you.